Hey yo, it's Omni Dog, Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens. And I'm doing something new. Uh, this uh, 20, this is my favorite toys for 2020. This was a year where I really got into toys because I happened to be friends with my friend Tyler Blunt from his video channel Super Squad D. And he's very, uh, uh, he's very influential. Uh, that is to say, I'm an easy pushover. He suggests toys and I buy them. Uh, so I thought I'd go over all my toys that I thought were the most interesting and fun, that I enjoyed the most this year. And um, toy collecting is kind of a new hobby of mine, but um, it, I, I don't know, it keeps me busy and keeps me off the street from buying drugs. And that's, you know, even though that's how I met my wife. So that's a really good thing. So... Uh, we'll start with, let's start with a statue. I, I only bought one statue, I think, last year, which is pretty good for me. I usually statue crazy. Uh, but I uh, just bought this statue, which is beautiful, from the wedding issue of Batman and Catwoman, Tom King's Batman and Catwoman, Batman number 50, I think it was, the wedding issue, the controversial wedding issue. I don't care about the controversial wedding issue. All I care about is she looks awesome. She is just as beautiful as possible. Joelle Jones knocked it out of the ballpark with this. It's even got the cat cowl tiara thing going on. Oh, this is such a gorgeous statue. So this is first thing I wanted to show I thought it was beautiful and it's just gorgeous let me try and put it in a place where I'm not gonna kick it over when I move here um, another thing that uh, usually I'm just a figure collector but um, one thing I uh, was into this in 2020 uh, was I discovered uh, spider-man 2099 and I um, haven't read it all yet. I've read a, I read a couple of issues that interested me enough that I collected all the trades I could. And I, I like uh, it a lot. So I got this is a uh, Koto uh, Biaki. Koto Artifacts of Spidey 2099. And these things are really sharp. But I thought this was just great looking. He's not poseable or anything. This is his pose, but it's got the wings and everything. And I thought this was pretty sharp looking. So this is sitting on my desk right here where I make videos. I, I really like this. Speaking of Spidey 2099, this was the first year I ever got into a hot toy. And the hot toy I got into was Spidey 2099. Um, and it's going to way upset the Apple cart here because I've got all my toys piled up right here. And so hot toys, for those of you who don't know, are super poseable. They come with cloth. Uh, they come with cloth on them this is all cloth here they're super poseable and with a lot of accessories let's see there we go so you've got a web shooter and this is the hand where you can shoot a picture of him swinging in if you bend his arms the right way this is he's swinging in and shooting a web um, he's got um, he only has one head, but he has several different arms that are real, I'm sorry, hands that are really cool and lots of different webs that you can shoot and he can do a wide variety of poses and you can see how tall he is in relation to me. It also comes with a really cool stand that says Spiderman and, uh, I actually got a, a couple of more hot toys, but I, um, 
don't really have room for them right now, so I'm gonna have to figure out where to find room for them. Uh, but these are really cool. Um, I can't afford a bunch of them, like Marvel Legends style. They're a little pricey, but for the poses you can put them in and stuff, these are really neat. So that was one of my favorite toys. Um, here's a line that I have been into before, but let me, it's a Mezco toy. And Mezco is known for lots of accessories and really cool features. So I think no, Tyler Blunt didn't uh, tell me about this one. I think Geo from A Week in Geekdom told me about this one. And this is Black Bolt and Lockjaw. And Lockjaw's eyes and antenna light up. This is him lit up. And Lockjaw comes with uh, two or three heads. And this one is his, you know, yelling like his superpower is he whispers and the wor world cracks in half. This is just awesome. You can't really pose Lockjaw, but he lights up. And I think that's boss. Um, and Black Bolt came with a... Um, like a funnel that ex that was sort of like his sound waves shooting out. But I put it in and it looked like a giant beer bong. So I decided not to use it. <laughs> but I thought this looked cool anyway. So, and they come with their own stand too. Mez some Mezcos, a lot of Mezcos do. Um, so that was cool. Let me turn... Lockjaw's head off. Ah, Lockjaw, okay, it's okay. Whoop. Okay, and that's what he looks like unturned on. Um, another line that that Tyler Blunt guy introduced me to was Yamaguchi Revolta. And he, that line is represented, oops, he fell a little bit. That line is represented by our favorite serial killer, Carnage. What, what's going on here, Carnage? Okay, he also came with a stand, but look at this dude. His tentacles have tentacles. I mean, have you seen a more tentacleized dude before? He comes with multiple hand forms and different eyes. Right now his jaw is open, but you can close it. It's got a hinge on it. Uh, it's got a hinge on it, yeah. And uh, so you can, you can change his eyes. And just, uh, <laughs> all these tentacles are so cool. Um, he also has one of the features I love, and that is the posable toe here. Um, I, that's really important to me for um, posing. If you have the little bendy foot, it's so much fun to pose those guys. I've got him in midair because I have him in a diorama out, out in the... Um, main part of the bag cave with Cable, who's also a Revolt tech uh, that Tyler talked me into. Uh, and just look at all that. So he comes with multiple things and this is just really boss. So those were my first, that's my first Revolt tech figure. Um, and I also got for the first time SH figure arts, figure arts, figure arts figures. Uh, I got one of Harley Quinn. She's really cool. These come with um, multiple hands and uh, multiple head pieces. This is uh, my crush, of course, Scarlet Witch. She does not have toe bend, but she does have 
You can take her hair off and put different hairstyles on. She has a couple different faces, I think. Uh, different hands with different weaponry. And she stands very easily. Even though she's in these boots. See, there, there you can see the heels on these boots. But she's really lifelike. I mean, that looks like Elizabeth Olsen to me. Um, and I got a statue, but I got it last week, of Scarlet Witch from Iron Studios. And you'll have to wait till the best of 2021 to see that. Or you can just ask me to make a video of it, and I'll make a video of it. Um, the next thing I got that was new to me... Um, now, I know a lot of people are complaining about this. Um, it's fine with me, because I like McFarlane toys, and I like Batman, and I've read Dark... Uh, I've read Metal. I haven't read... And I've read some Dark Universe titles, Dark Multiverse titles. I haven't read Death Metal yet. Um, but I'm familiar enough with these characters that I think they're really cool. And that first one is the Grim Knight, Batman from the Dark Multiverse. He, look at all the weapons he's got. <laughs> this is crazy, but it's such a cool figure. Um, and I, these are really well made. I... You know, you can say whatever you want about Todd McFarlane, but I think he knows what fans want. And, of course, what they want is toes that bend so you can pose them. Uh, and lots of articulation and just really cool. It's just fun to pose these guys. And, they, you know, he's just strapped for weaponry like a Liefeld character. Um... But he's a Scott Snyder creation, so I need to read Death Metal um, as the follow-up to Metal. So this guy was cool. And he, I also got... I got several... Several uh, Metal Verse... Uni, metal Multiverse... Whatever Verse figures. So they're all really cool. But the one I really like is Dawnbreaker, who's like a kind of a Green Lantern Batman. And he's got a bat there. And it comes with a stand, which I think is cool. So you can pose him anywhere you want on the stand. Um, and I, I don't know a lot about Dawnbreaker yet, except what I've read in Metal. So I'm hoping... Dawnbreaker and the Drowning were the two most interesting characters, I thought, and they only really touched on them. Um, but I, I think uh, McFarlane really does a good job. Now, I know you're pro all probably sick of Batman, because that's all he's done, and a, and a couple of Supermen. And so I agree that we need to see Wonder Woman and Flash. Well, he, he has a good Flash. Actually, let me show you. Let me show you the flash, if I can get out of here without knocking everything over. Here is Red Dawn, which is really cool. This is also a good figure. And then he has another flash figure, which I think is right behind me, which is also really cool. So, I mean, look at that pose. He's all twisted up and everything. And so Red Dawn's boss looking. I gotta get him in more of a speedy pose like Flash is. Um, so I, I know that he needs to, but at least he's got Flash and he's got Superman. So he's going to be branching out into more than just Batman, I hope. Uh, the other, uh, those were the most uh, kind of higher end than Marvel Legends that I like. Um, and the, uh, the Marvel Legends that I got that I really like were, um, uh, I really liked, for some reason I got a thing about symbiotes right now. I'm going to try and read as much Venom and Venomized as I can. So I got a bunch, <laughs> Gwenom's tongue is wrapped around Miles, but I got a bunch of crazy, uh, Venomized characters. Here's, I believe, Carnage. He's got the little ultimate uh, 
absolute carnage type symbol on him which i haven't read yet but this is a cool figure and also um i got Gwenum, whose hood is like a mouth with a big tongue. And then this is the most posable figure I've ever had from Marvel Legends because of these feet. This is Miles Morales Venomized. And she's also got little toe kicks or maybe they're blades in the comic. I don't know, but she's easy to pose too. Uh, so I love the Venomized Wave. There's also a giant one that I love, and that's Toxin. <laughs> this is a great one. I've got to read all about him because I know virtually nothing about him except that he looks incredibly ferocious. So I know enough about him that I knew to get the figure. <laughs> um, and then a three pack came, so I'll count it as one, with Phantom X. He's got little smoke coming out. You can see there. I've already got a Phantom X, but I need another one, of course. And also in that three pack was Psylocke. And I've got a Psylocke, but you can always use more Psylocke. She's looking good there. And Nimrod, who is monstrous. So those were my favorite toys of 2020. Uh, let's see. Well, I had another one, but I don't see him and I think the video is over. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Peace and love, peace and love. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And go to that Tyler Blunt Super Squad D uh, YouTube channel. And um, I will be seeing you soon with another video. Peace and love, peace and love.